The Northern Governors Forum has condemned Friday's attack by bandits. In a statement in just on Friday, Chairman of the Forum and Governor of Platte Chief State, Simon Lalong, described the development as embarrassing and unacceptable. According to him, strong measures must be taken to put an end to the trend before it escalates into a monster that will consume educational pursuit and national aspirations. Governor Lalong added that the development which is coming on the heels of the abduction of school children in Kagara, Niger State, which is still being addressed, calls for serious concerns among all Nigerians. The forum reiterated its commitment to work in synergy with the southern counterparts and appealed to their colleagues to extend their presence in the northern part of the country in order to enable harmonious and peaceful coexistence among citizens and other ethnic nationalities. That the Northern Governors Forum would partner with traditional institutions, religious leaders, and all relevant stakeholders in the entrenchment of community harmony, peace, and security of the region and the country at large. The meeting resolved to collaborate with meaningful individuals and corporate organizations to invest in areas of agriculture and mining industries in order to improve the economy of the northern region and Nigeria at large. The forum calls for due diligence in the execution of the federal government initiatives in the economic sustainability plan, wherein 700 billion naira is earmarked for the project in order to address farming, animal husbandry, and other agro-allied business. The effort will create job opportunities thereby creating well for our teaming population. We do not see evidence that President Muhammad Buhari, as the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, understands the magnitude of the insecurity in the North or has the commitment and the will to address those security situations. We hear every day that the military are doing their best, the police are doing their best. Unfortunately, either the problem is much bigger than their capacities or their, their best is not good enough for us. Either way, the person who swore on the Quran to protect Northerners is the President and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces. And what we see on the ground does not suggest that we are protected. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.